to welcome our graduates.
Please be seated. President Gormley, Sister Mary Myers, honored guests, faculty, graduates of the class of 2021, family and friends. Good afternoon and welcome to the School of Nursing BSN pinning ceremony. My name is Mary Ellen Glasgow and I'm privileged to serve as the Dean of Nursing. At this time, I would like to introduce our distinguished guest on stage. And as I make these introductions, would you please stand and be recognized? And I ask that the audience hold their applause. President Gormley, 13th President of Duquesne University. Sister Mary Myers, School of Nursing Success Coach. Dr. Kate DeLuca, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. Dr. Tori Snyder, Clinical Assistant Professor and Chair of the Undergraduate Programs. Dr. Angela Karakachian, Advisor for the School of Class of 2021. Professor Christine D'Antonio, Faculty Speaker, and Dr. Rebecca Kronk, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. I would also I would also like to take this opportunity to introduce the faculty and the staff of the School of Nursing. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am so happy to be here in person with all of you on this beautiful day to celebrate your academic accomplishments and entry into the nursing profession with your family, faculty, and friends. And I wanna personally thank Sister Mary and all of you who prayed the rain away. This is the only day with no rain all week. <laughs> Twenty twenty one in particular has been a challenging time. We experienced a global pandemic which required strength and dedication and flexibility. The entire nation would learn what PPE means, personal protective equipment, usually an acronym only known by healthcare professionals. So I want to offer my big congratulations to each of you for achieving this academic and professional milestone. You are now a nurse. We have, we have witnessed nurses' compassion as they comforted the sick and dying, connecting families via technology if possible with their loved one or stepping in when no family could be present. I too experienced a nurse's compassion. I lost my father um, during COVID recently, and like many families in America, I could not visit my dad due to health safeguards in place in the hospital. And since his death occurred more suddenly than expected, we were unable to have the one permitted compassionate care visit. But it was the nurse who called after the physician called me to let me know that he did not die alone. And it was the nurse who called again later that day to emphasize that she was with him, there for patients despite their fear with the utmost compassion. And the faculty and I are so very proud of you. During this devastating time, no one complained no one said, I can't do this, I can't make the transition, whether it was to virtual clinical or remote learning, or to showing up to care for patients in full PPE, or serving as COVID testers or vaccinators, even when you may have been afraid. And while it was no doubt a gun-trenching year, it has also had its silver linings. 
It has made us more open to change, to seeing things differently, and to understanding what we are capable of, even when faced with unthinkable challenges. I take comfort in knowing that each of you is ready for the challenges that are before you, and that you will be the nurse who offers compassionate care to your patients. The class of 2021 is brave, resilient, and kind. And you have stepped up and served patients better than any of us could have expected or hoped. COVID-19 has changed all of us. It has made us stronger and appreciative of little things. A hug, a handshake, a family dinner, but it has made the world appreciative of nurses. We are incredibly appreciative of what you have given this year and that you are committed to serving others going forward. You are true heroes in the sense of the world. So congratulations, class of 2021. Godspeed to each of you as you go out into the world to care for others. I am now pleased to introduce Professor Christine D'Antonio, faculty member and director of the BSN Clinical Immersion Program, who will give her remarks. Good afternoon, graduates, fellow faculty, family, and friends. It is my honor to be selected as your faculty speaker for the class of 2021. As individuals, we all bring our own unique attributes to Duquesne University School of Nursing. And like Florence Nightingale, we have been on the forefront of nursing during unprecedented times representing the face of the nurse. At the beginning of the 2019 and 2020 academic year, nursing faculty attended a development session on the meaning of possessing grit. And admittedly, in that moment, I myself was unsure of what true grit, authentic grit, really was. Throughout this session, we heard about the following characteristics, and I would like to reflect on these with you today. Courage. As a group, you are able to pick up and transition your mode of learning from in-person with hands-on clinical to fully remote with intensive clinical assignments with ease. These represent the courage within you all as you embarked on your final year at Duquesne. Conscientiousness. Even in the face of uncertainty, you were able to maintain and uphold the rigor and the values of a Duquesne University student nurse. Endurance. Week by week, you all continued to meet your course requirements and clinical expectations, inching yourself closer to where we are today. Resilience. Following the uncertainty, you were able to return to campus this fall with the support of each other, faculty, staff, and your family and friends, many of whom are with us today. And excellence. Each of your definitions of excellence may vary, but one thing each and every one of you have demonstrated is your ongoing quest for nursing excellence. With the evolution of high flex learning and testing to virtual clinical and simulation and the nuances of social distancing, isolation, and quarantine guidance. Throughout this past year, you have demonstrated courage, conscientiousness, endurance, resilience, and excellence. And with distant support from your family, friends, and faculty, you did it. Class of 2021, you've developed authentic grit. This particular graduating class holds a special place in my heart. We transitioned together from health assessment lab to adult health 
Obi, and Jero. In our final semester together, we learned a lot alongside of each other as we abruptly were transitioned into teaching and learning amidst a global pandemic. And your resiliency is truly commendable. Like all of my faculty, uh, it's been an honor to educate and mentor you throughout your extraordinary time at Duquesne. And as you transition into the profession, remember what I always say. I hope that you continue to employ the greatness of a Duquesne University nurse. I hope that you always remember to trust your glimmer. Seek guidance when you're unsure. Advocate for your patients in their most vulnerable hours and identify a mentor to support you as you grow. Congratulations, class of 2021. I'm very proud to call you my colleagues. I would now like to introduce the undergraduate student speaker, Levi Collier Hazel. After graduation, Levi will be employed by Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh in the emergency department. It is my pleasure to welcome Levi to the podium. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Dean Glasgow, for that introduction. As everyone knows, my name is Levi Collier Hiesel. And before I get started, I just wanted to say how much of an honor and how thankful I am to be able to represent you as your student speaker. First off, I cannot believe how fast these past four years have gone. So I don't want to drag on and be too long, so I'm going to keep it short and sweet. To be completely honest, when I first started writing this speech, I had no idea what I was going to say or talk about. So I found myself, believe it or not, looking for cheesy quotes, iconic sayings, and random funny nursing memes as inspiration. I did, however, come across the definition of nursing school. I found probably the simplest and lamest definition possible. But here it is. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines nursing school as a school that trains people to be nurses. I laughed when I saw this. I thought, this must be the dumbest and most obvious yet misleading definition that could be created. Nursing school is not just some normal school or program that you take or complete. As all of us know here, it is extremely challenging, academically, mentally, and emotionally. And that's just not by chance. Duquesne designed it this way. It was planned to test us, not just on paper or our world-encompassing laptops, but also as people who are preparing to lead lives of resiliency. All of us work diligently and endlessly to get to where we are today, to take on jobs that test us in the same way. That being said, not just anyone can be a nurse. A nurse is a person strong enough to tolerate anything and caring enough to understand anyone. Being a nurse requires a lot of intentional effort but it is also an immovable part of all of us. Honestly, I don't think myself or anyone else here knew what they were getting into when starting this program at Duquesne. After countless hours of studying, memorizing facts, skills labs, and the endless HESIs, we did it. There really, truly is no way to describe the struggles and challenges of our time in this program. But hey, here we all are, it's graduation day. Yes, the past four years have been hard, stressful, 
teeth grinding years of pushing ourselves with the 4 a.m. wake up calls to get to the 6 a.m. clinical site. These were all too close to the essay deadlines and the coffee crams of the night before. And to add to all of that, the pandemic happened. COVID-19 caused online classes for the past three semesters, clinicals to be cut short, and our college experience switched to Zoom. We as a class took on that challenge. We worked even harder. And somehow, through it all, we had a heck of a lot of fun. We made the best of our time together. I will miss seeing fellow classmates studying, arguing, debating over questions in nursing theory, and laughing, making the best of the hours spent preparing for our future. It's crazy to think that today is really the day we finish nursing school. Because no, no one bonds better than a clinical group cleaning up a patient, or no one works harder than the groups of us taking over the floors of Gumberg, studying all night through, and no one cares more than this group of nurses in front of me, dedicating our lives to caring for others. All I want to say is thank you to each and every one of you for making this experience incredible. I want to thank the professors and the staff for working with us before and during the pandemic and helping us all still learn, grow, and feel connected. So sure, yeah, nursing school is just a school that trains people to be nurses. But here at Duquesne, with all of you, it was so much more. And to that, congratulations, class of 2021. This is not only what we signed up for, but is what we conquered together. Thank you. Thank you. During our ceremony today, students will be pinned with their nursing pins. And to explain the symbolism of pinning in the nursing profession and the Duquesne School of Nursing pin, I invite class representative Julia Ciotti to the podium. The tradition of the nursing pin and the ceremonial pinning originated in the 1860s at the Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London. After being awarded the Red Cross of St. George for her service in the Crimean War, Florence Nightingale chose to extend the honor to her graduate nurses by presenting each of them with a medal for excellence. The pin serves as a symbolic welcome and rite of passage into the profession of nursing and is still worn by nurses today to identify the nursing school from which they graduated. The pins also have symbolic meaning, usually representing the history of the nursing school where the graduate attended. In 1947, a committee of Duquesne University nursing students designed their own cap uniform and pin that were adopted by the school. At the center of the pin is the Duquesne University seal, which is part of the university heraldry. It consists of the Holy Spirit, a lion, and the Book of Knowledge, and reflects Duquesne's religious foundations and the influence of early French settlement. The black lion on the silver shield was adopted from the arms of the Marquis de Duquesne, a noted French naval hero. His nephew, Marquis de Duquesne de Menville, was responsible for the building of Fort Duquesne at the point in 1754, as well as bringing Catholicism and the Duquesne name to this area. The red book held by the lion was adapted to the seal to represent Duquesne as an institution of higher learning. The blue and red colors of the upper portion of the seal represent not only the school's official colors, but those of the Holy Ghost Congregation, the university's founding order, which itself was of French origin. 
The half dove is the symbol of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Blessed Trinity, and the patron of the university. The official name, Duquesne University of the Holy Ghost, appears on the outer border of the seal, along with the year 1878, the date of the university's founding. The university's Latin motto, Spiritus Echi Vivificat, appears on the inside border of the seal. It is translated as, it is the spirit that giveth life which reflects the spiritual dimensions of the university's educational mission. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for. Would the Bachelor of Science in Nursing students please stand? On behalf of the university administration and the faculty of the School of Nursing, I present the class of 2021. Please come forward to the stage to receive your pin from Dr. Karakachian as your name is called by Dr. Snyder. Audience, please hold your applause until all students' names are called, and a professional photographer will be taking pictures of the students as they leave the stage. And we ask that you please not come to the front row to take pictures, but to over to the side. Thank you. Dr. Snyder. Elena Albertson. <laughs> Megan Aller. Sarah Andrews, cum laude. Miranda Antigua, cum laude. Kelly Rose Baffa. Taylor Begaitis, magna cum laude. Allison Bartleball, Michaela Belmonte, Margaret Bendel, Magnum Culade, Lauren Bliss. Haley Bolvez, Timothy Boyden, Abby Boyle, magna cum laude, Claire Brady, cum laude. Kane Brown, Tara Butler, cum laude, Madison Byerly, cum laude, Emma Kachopo, Julia Kane, cum laude, Brittany, 
Glennis Carter. Nicole Caslione, magna cum laude. Madison Shabriar. Alexandria Church. Autumn Sikra. Julia Ciotti, summa cum laude. Jennifer Cipriano. <laughs> Irene Klee, cum laude. Levi. Hazel, Hazel, okay. Levi Callier Hazel. <laughs> Claire Craven, cum laude. Shannon Krogan. Kara D'Angelo, magna cum laude. Sarah Daly. Kayla Delapi, summa cum laude. Victoria Daniela. Aliyah Dom. Megan DeBosier. Lauren Deach, magna cum laude. Catherine Devlin. Kayla Devlin, magna cum laude. Catherine Dad Raina Donatelli Allison Dongera Miranda Dorsty. Shannon Easter, cum laude. Jay Escalana. <laughs> Olivia Fabus. Lauren Felice, cum laude. Grace Marie Festivo, cum laude. Maya Fitzgerald. Casey Flickinger, cum laude. Maya Ford, cum laude. Sadie Ford, cum laude. Madison Fretz.
Keely Fullerton, magna cum laude. Alexandria Gates. Carly Gimpoli, cum laude. Andrew Giovinco. Kayla Gravener, magna cum laude. Catherine Grieb, summa cum laude. Jillian Grimm. Emma Grunbach. Graziella Gulli. Allison Haley. Carly Hall. Abby Hartman. Wen Helsinger, cum laude. Madison Hess. Samantha Holsopel. Megan Huey, magna cum laude. Cecilia Irving. Michaela Ayuni. Taylor Johnson. Congratulations. Cheyenne Kern. Megan Keys. Grayson Kinsey, cum laude. <clears throat> Katie Kinsler, cum laude. Megan Knopf, magna cum laude. Hannah Knopf. Sydney Kowalski. Lindsay Cridlow, magna cum laude. Connor Levy. <laughs> Caroline Lee. Brenna Linder. Margaret Logel. Ashley McIntyre, cum laude. Right. 
Emily Mahady, cum laude. Kate McAtee. Regan McCracken, cum laude. Molly McFadden. Sky McIntyre, cum laude. Caitlin McKissick. Sage McCluskey. Grace McWilliams, cum laude. Lindsay Mallott. Cassandra Merla. Kaylee Makuta, Magna Cum Laude. Peyton Mikulich, Rachel Miller, Juliana Morgan, Hatley Mueller, cum laude. Joey Muser. <laughs> Lauren Naida, cum laude. Maggie O'Sullivan, cum laude. Emilia Palatusi, Catherine Papadis, Oliva Parker, Gabriella Pupa. Hannah Porimba, summa, summa cum laude. Casey Porati. Kaylee Potok. Colleen Rafter. Megan Reith, cum laude. Rachel Roberts, cum laude. Is it Rohrbach? Rohrbach? Rohrbach. Carissa Rohrbach. Marie Rulapa, cum laude. Congratulations. 
Anina Sarconi. Emily Scanlon. Jordan Sherba, cum laude. Riley Seibert. Brandon Serapilea. Joseph Setlock. Allison Seymour, cum laude. Jocelyn Shambach. Alexandra Sheehy. Julia Sliney, cum laude. Ashley Sliwa. Megan Slyman, cum laude. Alexis Smith. Clara Spangenberg. Catherine Spellman. Caitlin Spurrier, cum laude. Claire Steinbugel. Jennifer Stevens. Sydney Stewart, magna cum laude. Kayla Strohecker, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Lynn Strapar. Taylor Struniak. Alexandra Tan. Elizabeth Tarbett. Madison Taylor, magna cum laude. Erin Thyre. Samantha Trentadu, magna cum laude. Merlena Trunzo, cum laude. Megan Taverdick, cum laude.
Emily Twyman, magna cum laude. Audrey Versaggi, cum laude. Elizabeth Watts. Ashley Wortman, cum laude. Megan Westergom. Emily Whitmer, cum laude. Cassandra Wolf. Madison Warden. Devin Yingling. Madeline Yoos, cum laude. Julianne York, cum laude. Amy Uhas, magna cum laude. Nicole Zanikos, cum laude. Eric Zeng. Caitlin Ziskin. Graduates, please be seated. Guests, please stand and do a nice round of applause for our class of 2021 graduates. Thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome Margaret Bendel to the stage to read a nurse's prayer. Let me dedicate my life today to the care of those who come my way. Let me touch each one with healing hand and the gentle art for which I stand. And then tonight, when the day is done, oh, let me rest in peace if I help just one. Thank you, Margaret. Of special note, we have two graduates who will be commissioned into the United States Army after graduation, and we would like to recognize them. Colleen Rafter and Julia Sliney, please stand to be recognized. We are so proud of you and your commitment to the nursing profession while serving your country. 
It is now my great pleasure to introduce you to the president of Duquesne University, President Ken Gormley, who will give remarks. President Gormley. Thank you, Dean Glasgow. Good afternoon, students, faculty, staff of the School of Nursing, family, friends, and graduates. My name is Ken Gormley, and I have the privilege of serving as the 13th president of Duquesne University of the Holy Spirit. I can't tell you how thrilled we are that we're gathered here together on our beautiful campus, and yes, no rain, in person to celebrate your academic accomplishments today and to join in this time-honored pinning ceremony. This is the first in-person ceremony we're holding out of many at Duquesne in a safe, socially distanced way in the next few days, and it is fitting that you nursing students should be the first because you have led the way in keeping our campus and our broader community safe during this COVID crisis. So as you know, the bachelor's degree that you're receiving today is evidence, as speakers have said, of your hard work, persistence, intellectual accomplishments, and your ability to work with and for those around you. As nurses, you will continue to make a positive impact on the lives of others through your compassionate care and your sincere empathy for your patients and for their families and the people that they love. As Dean Glasgow described, the warmth of fellow nurses who cared for her own father brought her peace at one of the most difficult moments in her life, one of the most difficult moments any of us can face. Our hearts go out to you, Dean Glasgow, and to your family, and so many others I know probably here today who have personally experienced the devastating impact of the pandemic. Our prayers continue to go out to each of you. Uh, nursing students, as you enter this profession now, you go forth at a time when the world has truly awakened to the importance of your calling, of your profession. You serve on the front lines and behind the scenes, often serving, as Dean Glasgow said, as that vital link, the first and sometimes the only point of care. You respond as a source of warmth and true compassion. And I agree with Dean Glasgow. You, our Duquesne University nursing students, are heroes today, and you will always be heroes to us. Remember that those letters BSN that you receive today after your names are extremely important, and they're well-deserved. You worked really hard to earn them. But kindness, patience, gentleness, resilience, those are hallmarks of people like you who are privileged to serve as nurses, and it is a great privilege. Those traits will define you as you offer ministry, a ministry of healing to moms and dads, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, and others throughout the years ahead. So thank you for answering that calling. We're so very proud of you. And we're also very proud of all of the people who have helped you on this journey, your parents, grandparents, spouses, family members, significant others, and friends. As a dad of two recent Duquesne grads, Luke and Becca, I can appreciate the pride these special folks are feeling today. And I know how thrilled some of them are to be here on the field, on Rooney, Rooney Field here in person with you at Duquesne to mark this milestone in your lives. 
to those who have stood beside you each step of the way, we know how important it is that you have given these graduates such valuable encouragement, love, and support. And I know that the COVID protocols we have in place here uh, have limited the number of guests our graduates could bring with them today, and some loved ones are watching from afar from home. Uh, so graduates, I would like you at this moment in the ceremony to stand up and turn to the people who in your life who are here in person or send a text to the people who aren't, hug them, kiss them, send electronic kisses, wave, let them know your appreciation. These are the people who've been there for you on this journey and I want you to remember this moment for the rest of your lives. Yeah, I guess you can't hug them, but you can do that later. Okay, you can, you can sit down for now. Uh, you know, guys, as Dean Glasgow said so eloquently, you've displayed remarkable courage and commitment this past year as you forged through some of the most trying times, literally, that our nation and our world has ever encountered. And it is, it has been a tough year. But Duquesne has shown what it's made of, hasn't it? And I'm really proud of that. I thought I'd share something personal with you. When I would come down to my office in Old Main down there at night during the height of the pandemic, because as you know, this campus still had to run and we still had to keep things going, I would sometimes look out my window on the fifth floor there down at the river and at the deserted city below me, and I'd worry whether we could actually get through this. And then I would look at the pictures of all the presidents of Duquesne on the wall around me who came before me, and pictures of students dating back a century, and I'd think, you know, God has put us here at this special moment in history to play a special role, just as he did during World War II, during floods, during pandemics, and other times of crisis when our predecessors on this campus rose to those occasions. And I really believe that. And you guys were the ones who accomplished that enormous lift. I was just bragging about it to our county executive this morning. You looked out for each other, you cared for each other, and that's why we're here in person at the end of the year. And I am convinced that when people look back on this time, they will view it as nothing short of a miracle that so many members of the Duquesne family came together allowing us to power through these unprecedented challenges. So thank you, class of 2021, for your commitment, your patience, your resilience, and your courage. Uh, I have to tell you, it has been the high point of my job as president, getting to work with you guys. There have been some amazing events, some special moments that we've celebrated together on campus. And I know you've heard me say this before, but we do. We serve God by serving you, our students, so that you can go forth and serve others. So today, class of 2021, is the day you go forth to prove that that isn't just a slogan at Duquesne. Today, you embark on a wonderful and exciting journey to make a meaningful difference in your communities and throughout the world. You will accomplish amazing things that we will be talking about and writing about for decades as the new history of Duquesne University is written. So on behalf of the entire Duquesne community and 99,000 alumni whose ranks you are about to join, I can only tell you we are incredibly proud of you for achieving this remarkable milestone, especially under such adverse circumstances. 
and for now joining the elite group of individuals holding degrees from this special institution. You've worked incredibly hard, and now those efforts, look at all of you sitting here, those efforts have paid off, and that's why we're gathered here today to salute you. So congratulations to each of you members of this amazing class of 2021 of the Duquesne University School of Nursing. God bless. Thank you very much, President Gormley. And now I would like to invite Sister Mary Myers to provide the blessing of the pins and then lead us in the singing of the alma mater. Sister Mary. Look at you. Let us pray. We ask your blessing today on these graduates as they mark the end of one journey and the beginning of another. They have completed a rigorous course of study. They have cared for men and women, newborns, and the dying in their clinical rotations. They have learned nursing in the midst of chaos and confusion and global pandemic for a year and have emerged victorious, poised on the threshold of a career that is also a calling and a ministry. We ask your blessing on all those loved by the graduates, for their parents, siblings, grandparents, and extended family who have supported them through their Duquesne journey. Today is a milestone in their lives. May these graduates be kept safe as they enter into healthcare at a fractured and historic time. May their energy and love be a bomb needed as we move beyond a year of crisis. They are kind. They are smart. They are courageous, hardworking, and beautiful. Bless them today and in the days ahead. Nursing graduates, class of 2021, you are on your way. We send you with our love, our pride, our warmest congratulations. Go forward today and light up your world. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. To conclude the BSN ceremony, I ask that all of you join us in the singing of the alma mater. Please stand.
The ceremony is now concluded, and I want to do one last congratulations to our nurse heroes. Congratulations, graduates. Families, you can take pictures on this field over to the right or on the bluff. Congratulations, graduates, and have a safe trip home, family and friends. Thank you.